Hello, my friends. Today we'll go to grape farms in the U.S. state of California to see how billions of grapes here are cared for and harvested. In California, vineyards are concentrated mainly in the southern San Joaquin Valley. Mid-January to February is when planting takes place on most farms in California. To build a new grape farm, workers will drive these stakes into the ground to install an automatic watering system and make trellises for the seedlings. Grapes cannot grow without water. Therefore, preparing the irrigation system is a very important job. Once the irrigation system is installed, these workers will dig holes to begin planting trees. Thousands of vines have been transferred from the nursery to start a new life. Normally, farmers can easily buy these seedlings or grow them right on their farms. These workers will plant about 900 vines per acre, and the spacing between vines is about 7 feet. Distances that are too close or too far can affect the plant's growth process. This area is a famous wine growing location in the United States. In 2021, the total grape growing area in California is approximately 918,000 acres, accounting for 95% of the country's grape growing area. After about a month from planting, the vines will be secured to the pole so they can grow vertically. Currently, most grape varieties grown in California require at least three years to produce their first harvest. Like many other fruit trees, grape vines need to be pruned at the right time. This is the pruning process at a five-year-old grape farm. In winter, these vines will be completely pruned and new branches will grow in the spring. When new branches appear, farmers will continue to prune the leaves to maximize nutrients for the growing branches. Young shoots growing at the base of the tree will also be removed. May is fruiting time on most California grape farms and grapes take about 70 days to harvest. At this stage, biological products will be used to protect grapes from attacks by pests and aphids. The tree pruning process has not stopped yet. To ensure the quality of grapes when harvested, workers at this farm will prune about 30% of the grapes. If you only have a few vines in your garden, this pruning may make you feel extremely regretful. But on this farm, pruning is necessary to ensure fruit quality. An indispensable job is watering. This is how the watering system works. It seems to save time and works very well. Grapes are fruit trees that need to be watered regularly throughout the life of the tree. During hot seasons, a mature vine needs about 8 to 10 gallons of water per day. The most awaited moment has arrived. These grapes are ready to begin a new harvest season. Do you feel satisfied when looking at these images? This is the harvest process at a grape farm in California. These workers will cut each bunch of grapes and those that do not meet the requirements will be discarded. During the annual grape harvest, about 95,000 workers flock to grape farms to work, and the average salary they receive is about $18 per hour. Millions of grapes after harvest will be inspected again before packaging. Currently, there are about 48 varieties of edible grapes grown in California. In 2021, California produced 5.9 million tons of grapes, accounting for 95% of the country's grape production and worth 5.2 billion U.S. dollars. 
In addition to growing grapes for fruit, Americans also grow grapes to produce wine. This is the process of harvesting grapes for sale at another farm located in the village of Naples, New York. With 80% of the grapes grown for wine production. Today, a total of about 35,000 acres of farmland in New York are used to grow grapes. New York is the third largest wine producing state in the U.S., behind only California and Washington. It was around October, the perfect time to harvest grapes in New York. Grape growers will divide into groups, each group of about five to six people sitting in a specialized vehicle. They move along each row of grapes and pick them with ease. Wine grapes are used to make juice and wine, so harvesting does not need to be done as carefully as regular grapes. They harvest bunches of grapes by hand, then load them into barrels and bring them to the gathering place. A group of six people can pick two to three quintals of grapes in a morning. Millions of grapes after harvest will be transported to factories to produce grape juice or wine. There are five basic stages or steps to making wine. Harvesting, crushing and pressing, fermenting, filtering, then aging and bottling. Every bottle of wine produced contains the love and enthusiasm of the grape grower. According to Wines Vines Analytics Winery Database, the United States currently has 11,691 wineries. Since 2019, the number of wineries in the United States has increased rapidly. Have you ever tasted a grape grown in America? Or take a sip of wine produced here? Please share your thoughts below in the comments section. At this point, the journey to discover the grape growing process in America has ended. Goodbye and see you in the next videos.